Hi, I'm Angela Brett, and I'm a geek, and no TV series or movie changes that, and I have nothing to prove, but until recently, I hadn't actually seen very much of Star Wars. I mean, I'd seen episode one in the theater, and I saw as much as I could stand of the Star Wars holiday special, but I hadn't seen any good Star Wars. And uh, several years ago, I had the chance to see all three original movies in the CERN council chamber, but instead of watching them, I thought, well, there are not many people my age who haven't seen it, and I should do something with this unique situation. I shouldn't just give away my Star Wars virginity so easily. So I asked Twitter, what should I do? Should I watch the movies, or should I write a poem about everything I know about the movies from, st from songs and internet memes? And the internet voted for a poem, so it's their fault. And this is that poem. Long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there was light, there was dark, there were no shades of gray, and a war was beginning, and stars were being made, though I don't know their names or the roles that they played. I know some were stormtroopers, Ewoks and Wookiees, Jedi Knights, Padawans, Monsters and Rookies. There's Darth Vader, C-3PO, R2-D2, but Einstein couldn't name them, so don't expect me to. There was Chewie and Yoda, the OSV talker, Han Solo and Leia, of course, Luke Skywalker. There were pod racers, um, falcons, and starships deluxe, and cruisers, and land speeders. That and five bucks will get you a Death Star. It looks like a moon, but it's some kind of space station dealing out boom. You would think it would wipe out the good guys, but nope. For some reason, this one's a cinch to blow up. I digress. There's a thing called the Force Luke must use. For the good side or bad, he's the one who must choose. Side note, many chlorians, what the force goes on, are force mitochondria, some kind of boson. So may it be with you, it's stronger in this one, whose lack of faith hints that there's something amiss. But I think Obi-Wan puts him on the right track. That's a guess. I don't know who he is. Don't attack. I'm a little unsure how the plot goes from there, but it's not like I'm bumbling around unawares. I know what a mind trick or lightsaber's for, and I know that they're not the droids I'm looking for. If they sleep in a tauntaun, then uh, someone won't freeze, and for Palpatine's sake, Wookiees spelt with two E's. And it's Han that's shot first, not, uh, Guido? No, Weebo. He couldn't shoot first at a wounded gazebo. So this guy named Darth Vader, who breathes through a mask, his wardrobe's all dark side. You don't have to ask. Well, he tries to convince the young Luke to turn bad, and then, spoiler alert, he says, Hey, I'm your dad! And the princess is somehow Luke Skywalker's sister, but nobody talks about how he once kissed her. So he vanquished his father, who, looking quite gaunt, while wheezing, could still somehow scream, DO NOT WANT! The end, and I don't care what anyone thinks, this poem may suck, but it beats Jar Jar Binks. Okay, so I have actually seen all of Star Wars since then. First I saw episode 4, I think the remastered version, and then I saw about half of episode 5, and then I had to rush off to the theater to see episode 7 at midnight. And then I think I saw the original 5 and 6, and then the despecialized 4, 5, and 6, and the de-cheesed versions of 1, 2, and 3, in that order. So, okay, um, what did I get right? What did I get wrong? I think... First off, it is 
Leia who kisses Luke. Luke never kisses Leia. Um, it's Luke that sleeps inside the Tauntaun. Um, okay, the guy that doesn't shoot first, I think his name is Greedo. Uh, everything else is pretty much accurate, I think. Except, I don't know about the do not want thing. I mean, I know that it's a translation of a translation and originally and somebody going, no. But, I watched the, uh, this is in episode 3, I think, and I watched the de-cheesed versions of 1, 2, and 3, and apparently that, that scene is cheese, so I never saw that. I don't know whether it's Darth Vader doing it, or maybe somebody else. I know that obviously Darth Vader does not die in that scene, because it's this is episode 3 and he doesn't die until episode 5 or something. So, yeah. Apart from that, I think that's everything. Um, I can definitely recommend if you like seeing things that are so bad that they're good, uh, I can definitely recommend not seeing the Star Wars Holiday Special because it is so bad that it is so good that it is then bad again and it just really makes no sense. I thought it was the kind of thing that maybe it would be fun to watch if you were on, under the influence of some kind of drug. So, while I was in Amsterdam recently, I showed it to a guy who was stoned, and he said uh, that it reminded him he hadn't done mushrooms in a long time. So there you go. If you're ever curious and you want to try mushrooms or some other kind of drug, don't do drugs, kids. Just watch the Star Wars Holiday Special. It will do lasting psychological damage, but I can guarantee you it is not addictive. Um, so yeah, uh, happy Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. I am Boba Fett, I'm the sucker who doesn't know it.